What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to show you how to properly put on any of the mid-cut football boots slash soccer cleats on offer from Nike, be it the Superfly 5 like I'm holding right here in my hands, the Magista Obras, the Hypervenom Phantoms, or any of the takedown models from Nike available in a mid-cut variation. This video, the tips I'm about to share, apply to all of them. I've been getting this question more and more, especially since Nike has introduced the mid-cut variations at lower price points. More and more people are getting their hands on them, and it's safe to say that the mid-cut boots from Nike are trickier to put on, as well as take off to a certain extent, in comparison to a standard low cut shoe. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to put them on, as well as share some tips with you that you may not have considered that'll make the experience that much easier to do and also that much more comfortable for you. So without further ado, let me show you the best way to put these guys on. The very first mistake I see a lot of people make, and this is just bad habits with putting on shoes in general, the same problem is going to exist with the low cut shoe, is not loosening the laces. If you leave the laces tight, getting these on is going to be next to impossible. And you can see they're not even really tight, but you're at a point right now where it can't stretch. The collar is stretchy and the middle part where the laces are located is also elasticated. And the reason for that is so you can get the shoes on and off more easily. The laces though, they're not gonna stretch. So if they're tight, you're basically not gonna be able to get them on because the opening's not gonna be big enough. So the first thing you should do is loosen the laces. This goes for both putting them on as well as taking them off. And you wanna loosen the laces all the way down, not just the top lace position, but on this particular shoe, pretty much all the way to the bottom, just so it's like this. Now you have it so the center part can very easily stretch in width as well as in height, which means that putting them on and taking them off is gonna be significantly easier. So to actually put these guys on, what I like to do and what I think is the best way is to use both hands. So what I'll do is with my left hand, I'll take my thumb and I'll pull on the top, uh, the very front of the collar, as you can see. And with my right hand, I'll grab the back part of the collar. And then from here, you have the freedom to stretch it this way. A lot of people are afraid of stretching the collar. It's elasticated because it's designed to stretch. It's going to stretch when you're wearing them. It has to stretch when you put them on and when you take them off. Will this cause permanent stretching to the collar? Yeah, it'll be a little bit bigger as you wear them in versus how they're going to be brand new, but that is by design, not something that you have to worry about. So, like I said, both thumbs like this, pulling the opening as big as I possibly can. And then from here, all you're gonna do is get your foot basically halfway in like this. So you can see my heel is still out of the shoe. I'm leaving my thumb back here almost as a shoehorn and I'm supporting this back part. You're gonna notice that there's structure and then it kind of drops off. You wanna make it so your thumb goes all the way down to the structured part. You pull it out like this. And then from here, all you're doing is just sliding your foot in and it's just that simple. From here, obviously you wanna adjust the collar, pull the front up. And you'll also notice, depending on how, it's, how your foot goes in, there could be some bunching of the material right here at the back. So always make sure that you stick your thumb in there and you pull that up so it's as smooth across the back as possible. If you leave it bunched up, that's potentially gonna cause you discomfort once you actually start running around in the shoes. From there, tie them up and you're pretty much good to go. It really is that simple. One common mistake that I often see when people are really struggling to get these on, and you see this with low cut shoes as well, is trying to put them on the lazy way, where basically you don't use your hands, you just place the shoe on the ground, and you try to stick your foot in through the collar and then just kind of jam your foot in like this. As you can see, the collar kind of inverts on itself, you end up crushing the back, and it's just not going to be doable. The best way to do this is like I showed you, use both hands, pull the collar opening as big as it can while you're putting your foot in and it slides in pretty easily. Another thing that you really wanna avoid is stepping on the structured heel area right here. You never wanna do this on any shoe and especially a mid-cut shoe because that's going to potentially bend in this internal plastic heel counter which is gonna cause permanent discomfort. You're not necessarily gonna be able to bend it in backwards. So basically the way that that would look is getting your foot in like this and then not supporting the back part and just trying to push your foot in. That's immediately going to crush this back part, like I said. So it's really, really important that you not only grab it from the front, but you also get your thumb in there, like I said, support that back piece, and then just slide it in very easily. Like I said, if you support the back, 
That's the part that's gonna bend in. If that's well supported, your foot slides in with no issues at all. And then finally taking them off, also a pretty straightforward process, but you have to use your hands. You can't just use your feet. So obviously you wanna loosen the laces as I've done, and then grabbing the collar more so from the back. So you can see I use both of my thumbs. I support the heel area right here. That's going to allow me to basically just use my thumbs to push down on that heel area and easily slide my foot out of the shoe. That's the best way to do it. That's the easiest way to do it as well. All right guys, so hopefully you found that video helpful. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. If you know anybody with mid-cut shoes that is struggling to get them on properly, please share this video with them because it'll help them out tremendously. If you have any questions for me regarding what I talked about in this video, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed this video, want to see more reviews on all the latest and greatest soccer gear, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. My social media information is linked down below as well. So check that out if you're interested. And without further ado, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.